What's the most awkward thing that's happened at a sleepover? When I was like 11 my mom made friends with this chick at her work who had a daughter the same age as me. There were a few times when her mom and my mom would hang out and bring us along so we were kind of friends. Anyways the girl has a birthday party, sleepover and invites me. We didn't go to school together so I didn't know any of the other girls she had over, there were four other girls. So we eat pizza, swim in her pool, sleepover stuff. So later in the night after her mom and her mom's boyfriend had gone to bed, we were all hanging out in her room just talking about weird preteen shit while listening to music. So the TV is on but since we have music on too the TV is on mute. I don't know who put it on or how long it had been on but in the middle of our conversation, this girl says, oh my god look at the TV. It was some softcore Cinemax porn and the room just went silent. So this other girl asks if any of us had ever, most of us are like uh no, so then she asks if we know how, again we're all like no not really, so this girl grabs a pillow and starts humping it while we all just sit there. Sean Paul's temperature was playing in the background. I was about 10, sleeping over with a group of pals, including my buddy's little brother who was around 6. We finished up a few rousing games of Donkey Kong 64 and Hydro Thunder and all went to bed. Woke up to find the little brother, standing ominously above me, butt ass naked except for a pair of Christmas themed tube socks on his hands and arms, and peeing into my half open sleeping bag. I think we were all around 15, about 6 male friends came over for your typical high school sleepover pizza, soda, and video games until 3 in the morning, and everyone just passes out where they lie. Except something must have been in the air that night because almost everyone was getting sexual. It started with jokes about, sword fights, in the bathroom, then a couple of them actually went into the bathroom to piss and cross the streams. Or so they say, I didn't verify. Then at one point, five of them, sixth was passed out, basically started comparing dick sizes, and I backed out. I had my reasons. I was closeted bisexual and in denial, and the last thing I wanted was to be ostracized in a class that was only 20 students. So yeah, kind of odd that the inadvertently gayest experience of my life happened in my bedroom and I backed out. One time I was over at a friend's house for his 11th birthday. It was myself, the birthday boy, and three other guys. We all slept in our sleeping bags in the basement. At around 5 a.m., we all awake to find Jake yelling at the birthday boy Derek. The reason? Derek thought it was funny to take a piss on Jake's face while he was sleeping, and Jake freaked out. Jake walked out after right after that, while the rest of us stayed up and called our parents around 7. I went home around 8, and in that time, Derek was still trying to play it off as funny. Derek lost four friends that night. I was sleeping over at my cousin's house. We stayed up and snuck out into the living room to watch Cinemax. It was after midnight and back in those days that was when all the titty flicks came on. One came on that my cousin was really into. He started touching his raging erection in his pajama pants and then he let out a blood-curdling scream. Somehow he ruptured a vein or something in his peen. We had to go wake up his mom. She looked at it and decided we had to go to the emergency room. Our whole family still makes fun of him for that until this day when we get together. I was 13 or 14 years old. All night RPG session, pen and paper, with my buddies in my friend's basement. His awesome and very traditionally Chinese mom brings us course after course of food throughout the evening as I vainly try to GM an adventure where my friends are more interested in creating in-game simulations of being drunk. GURPS had a skill for that like everything else, than in actually playing the game. The night wears on and we finally pass out with dawn quickly approaching. Shortly afterwards I wake up with a start, my stomach didn't like the awesome Chinese food as much as the rest of me did. Jump up off the basement floor and bolt for the bathroom, only I'm really tall and have a problem with passing out when I get up too quickly. Black out in the doorway and fall hard. Wake up a moment later with my friends standing over me. That's when it hits me. That looming feeling of dread when you realize that you had just shit your pants in front of a room full of your peers. Is this real or am I dreaming? These terror-filled thoughts are interrupted by a renewed gurgling in my stomach. Apparently, it is all too real. I claw my way into the bathroom and slam the door shut on my startled friends. I pull my pants down and unleash a foul kind of hell in the toilet even as shit continues to soak into my ill-fitting jeans, this happened in the 90s. But wait, there's more. Suddenly I need to vomit because this delicious food apparently cannot leave my body fast enough. I do the only rational thing that can be done and start puking into the garbage can as I continue to add to the mountain of poop underneath me. Apparently, I had offended some vengeful deity that day because, obviously, the basket is wicker. So there I am, pooping everything that can be pooped as I vomit into a garbage can that is, at best, straining it. The floor is covered in vomit, my pants are full of shit, and that's the day that my social anxiety started. Welcome to the next decade of your life, kid. Friend's mom walked downstairs to find eight sixth grade boys huddled around the TV watching porn. We instantly pretended to be asleep, and nothing was ever said after that. I still think of it every time I see her.
It was first grade. My first sleepover party. We were watching one of the Star Wars movies and talking Pokemon cards. We were all having a great time. Bedtime rolls around and my dad has to bend over to turn the VCR off. As he crouches down, he lets rip a fart so thunderous Thor would have cowered, right into the face of my best friend at the time. Edit. Man I go to sleep and wake up to a ton of little orange envelopes. Because some of you have asked, no that is not what ended my friendship with the kid. Though his dad and my dad are really good friends now so I can't help but wonder if they bonded over that. Camping in the backyard with some friends when I had to pee super bad. I couldn't find the zipper to the tent to get out and I was about to burst. So I ended up trying to pee through the mesh window. I don't know why. Well, peeing through mesh doesn't work very well, especially with terrible 9-year-old aim and I ended up laying a pretty thick layer of atomized urine all over everyone else in the tent. In the morning it turns out one of my other friends was awake pretending to be asleep and saw the whole thing and told everyone it was me who peed all over everything in the tent. Dude was awake while he was getting piss all over him and said nothing. What the fuck man? Needless to say, I was not invited to another sleepover for quite a while. My friend in high school had the house where all of our friends would play Smash Bros. Tournaments until our eyes bled, then go to sleep in his massive RV parked outside. I wasn't, and still am not, a morning person, so I'd usually be the last one out of the RV. One night, I fall asleep on the pull-out bed in my jeans and all, with just a blanket covering me. As I wake up, I'm still in that half-awake, half-asleep haze, and I feel something rustling in my nether regions. I figure it's just morning wood, and go back to sleep. Then it happens. I feel it again, wake up for real this time, and my dick is outside of my zipper. Pants still on, blanket still covering, and as I look over. My friend is laying next to me, he and I being the only two in the RV, staring directly at the ceiling. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt and prayed he didn't just pull my penis out of my pants while I was asleep, so I packed up and headed home. Lo and behold, an hour later I get a text saying he was so sorry, he didn't know what he was thinking. Yeah man, you pulled my dick out of my pants while I was sleeping. I'm gonna need a little space. TLDR. My penis beauty rest was disturbed. The worst part of this story is until my girlfriend and I met, he was the only one, besides me, to have fondled my twig and berries. My friends were ruthless with those jokes. Finally invited to a sleepover at a popular girl's house. Started my period and bled all over my PJs, which I borrowed from her, and her sheets. I was out camping with a neighbor friend of mine when we were 14. I woke up hearing the shuffle of her sleeping bag. I asked her what she was doing and without breaking a stride she said that she was warming herself up. Then I turned on the lamp and found her on top of her bag, naked and masturbating. She immediately stopped and pulled her sleeping bag up over herself and she turned out the lamp. We sat there in silence for about three minutes. Then I said, you can finish if you wanna. No, you ruined it. We didn't speak much the rest of the trip. When I was 12 my friend Peter had a disco-themed birthday party, no, I don't know why, at his house. The party being on a Friday, we all stayed the night. Being preteen boys with limitless cola, we ended up staying up all night, and decided to watch the sunrise on his back deck. As we're looking at the majestic, slowly lightening sky, our peaceful moment is shattered by a shrill, screaming voice. Looking to the source of the sound we see his fat, topless, 50-plus-year-old neighbor lady yelling through her kitchen window that we're degenerate perverts. She was under the impression we were all staring at her. Once the yelling started we couldn't really help it, and that horrible image will be forever burned into my mind, I'm 29 now. About 11 years ago, sleepover with girls and boys. All lights are out for about 10 minutes. We have all settled down and gotten silent for sleeping. Then we hear a grown male voice clearly enunciate the word, what? Now, let me be clear. This was not a child's voice. This was like hearing James Earl Jones say, what? There was about a 10 second silence and then one of the girls says, who said that? Silence. Then one of the boys starts laughing uncontrollably. We turn the lights on and he is laughing so hard that he's crying. Here we are all freaking out about some strange man in our room while we sleep and he's pissing himself laughing. He finally calms down enough to tell us that it wasn't a person who asked, what? He farted the word. His fart sounded exactly like the word, what? We all cracked up. To this day everyone from that party still answers phone calls from each other with, what? Back when I used to pee the bed in third grade, I fell asleep in my friend's bed during a sleepover at his house. I pissed the bed, it, it was awkward, and I never stayed the night at his house again. But what was most awkward was that when I woke up, he was sitting in a chair staring at me, waiting for me to wake up. I once slept over at a friend's house. He was a bit older than me. This difference was where he had discovered masturbation, whereas I had not. Anyway, I heard his bed furiously rocking back and forth. I asked him what he was doing. He said he was doing push-ups. It was dark so I took him for his word. So then I asked if I could do push-ups with him. Years later it all dawned on me. When I was about 7 or 8, me and a few friends were sleeping in a tent in my best friend, neighbor's front yard. 
His dad was a bit of an alcoholic, quite similar to Randy Marsh actually. Anyways, his dad comes home from the bar, plastered, bursts into the tent and wakes us all up, saying we should all go up to the elementary school across the street. We go with him, the whole time acting like spies, avoiding all the lights, all under his drunk ass directions. We get to the playground, and he decides he wants to challenge all of us to a foot race. So we all line up, he yells, go, and we all take off. Surprisingly, he kept up with us almost all the way to the finish line, before he busted his ass, fell flat on his face, on concrete. He also landed awkwardly on his arm, breaking his wrist. Was awkward at the time, but looking back on it 20 years later, it's quite hilarious. Hey, this is my first video if you like it consider subscribing and liking the video for more. Probably about 14, this girl decided to have a big slumber party for her birthday. Well, she was stereotypically uncool, wore t-shirts with wolves on them, bragged about how far she could stick the arm of her glasses up her nose, and kind of always smelled like dogs. I was about one social rung above her. My friend and I were the only people that showed up at her big party. Her mom made us hot dogs, and dinner was silent. Her dad arrived and started screaming about how her two gigantic German shepherds hadn't gotten enough affection today. He ended up throwing a hot dog at the girl's mother. Later on, I made a joke of the word, gracias, as, grassy ass, because I was 13. Her dad pulled me into the kitchen and screamed at me. I was shaken up and scared so we all went to bed. In the middle of the night, my friend and I woke up with the girl sitting upright between us and shaking us awake. We tried to figure out what was going on and she just said, you know, we could kiss. Having no interest in such things at that age, I was thoroughly disturbed. My friend called her mom and claimed we were sick and had to be picked up immediately. It was just too much discomfort for one night. When I was around 15, I was staying the night at one of my best friend's house. We decided to steal a bottle of whiskey from his parents' kitchen and walk down to the park down the street to drink it. It was around 10 p.m. I immediately started taking big chugs, dead sober and no tolerance. About 30 minutes later I was blackout drunk, but do remember small tidbits. We climbed the roof of the elementary school nearby, right next to the park, and tried to break into the classrooms. Eventually, I became somewhat belligerent and my friend got annoyed. It took him about an hour to get me to leave with him. This is where my memory fades completely. We walk back to his house and, apparently, my friend told me to just lay down on the couch in his living room. At this point he was really fed up with how drunk I was and just wanted to go to sleep. He said I agreed and laid down on the couch as he went to his room. And this is where things get a little weird. I get up, in the middle of my sleep and I walk into his older brother's room and just stared at him in his sleep. My friend had just changed rooms a week ago with his older brother, so I guess in my blackout stupor I assumed it was still his room. He wakes up and asks me what the hell I'm doing. I say nothing and proceed to lay on the floor. His brother is weirded out, but decides to just leave me be and let me sleep on the floor, probably assuming I'm drunk. About an hour later, according to him, he awakens to me rolling around and puking all over his floor. At this point I am entirely incoherent, so he decides to just deal with it in the morning and leave me be. About an hour or so after that, I get up, and walk into his parents' room across the hall, and start puking all over their floor. His parents are pissed, needless to say, but somewhat understanding. His mom gets up, cleans up the puke, I am completely blacked out, and takes me to the shower. She takes my clothes off, except for my underwear and puts me in the shower and turns it on. This is all according to her, God knows what exactly happened and what I was saying. For all I know, my d was popping out of my boxers, I never felt the need to ask. Anyways, the next morning I woke up in his basement with nothing but underwear on, that is stiff from dried puke. With virtually no memory after we decided to try and break into the school. I talked briefly about what had happened with him and his family, as I grabbed my clothes and left. Most embarrassing night of my life. Not really a sleepover, I was 23 at the time and drove to California to stay on a buddy's couch. I drank a bunch of beer after the long drive and passed out, woke up having pissed myself on his couch. It is about 5 a.m. I grab a towel and lay on it on the couch, resigning myself to being the guy who pissed on the couch for the duration of my stay. By some miracle the towel absorbed most of it, him and his roommates woke up around 9 a.m., and nobody knew a thing. You can share your own story down in the comment below, and thanks for watching the video.